And we'll have to shift it like that. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Morning Health Nuts, it's Mr. Matt. You're probably wondering why I'm holding the camera because normally I kind of avoid the camera, but today I've been challenged to do all the meals that we eat today are gonna to be cooked by me. As most of you know, Nicole is the, the primary cook. I'm the primary cleaner, so we're gonna switch roles. And I think it'd be fun, what I've decided to do is I'm gonna pick all the meals that I cook today from the Health Nut Cookbook because I've taste tested most of the most of the meals there probably 10 times, but I've never actually cooked any of them by myself. So I thought it'd be kind of fun if I picked a bunch of meals from here to cook today for my boyfriend cooks for girlfriend challenge video. So I'm gonna start with, cashew sparking. I'm gonna start with Nicole's coffee. Bring her coffee in bed, cause right now she's meditating. So normally I wake up before Nicole. I usually get a shower do my kind of morning routine, get ready, and usually Nicole's still sleeping at this time, so I'm gonna bring her a coffee in bed, and then I think I'm gonna start breakfast with maybe her famous pancakes, which are in the book, which I've had, I don't know, 100 times, but I love them, and they're probably easy to make, which is probably a key for me. And now I'm gonna have the fun of watching her clean up after my messy cooking. Okay, so Nicole is very particular about how she likes her coffee. Well, it's not real coffee, it's the Catholic uh, organic coffee substitute I guess which is which is really good I use it too but so I need to make sure I do two heaping spoonfuls not not mild or not small it had to be heaping and she recently got this milk frother and won't drink coffee without froth milk I've never used the milk frother so I'm gonna have to give it a try and see if I can froth the milk and make this coffee good wish me luck Cylon, nothing Cylon. but the best. <laughs> oh, the presentation. Oh, wow. Oh, it's perfect. Heaping, heaping spoons. Oh, you know the weight of my heart? It's good, it's hot, but I like it hot. High five. Mm. What'd you put inside? <laughs> Cinnamon, did you put stevia? Yeah, a couple drops, yeah. Mm. Cashew's been whining all morning. You want some, you want some calf live? You want some calf lib coffee? You get no coffee, you're too hyper. You're too <laughs> hyper. You're too hyper already, stinky puppy. So I'm gonna enjoy this in bed. Don't mind my laundry. I already hear Matt unloading the dishwasher. Joke's on him. So I don't know, we thought this would be a really fun video mostly because I just want a day where I don't have to cook. I'm always cooking, I love it. But it's still work, you know? It's still like, even if you love doing something, it's still work. I would much rather someone cook for me all day. So I think it's gonna be a fun challenge for Matt. He does not like cooking, like he gets stressed out. So it's definitely gonna be a challenge for him. And I think it's just gonna be entertaining for me, if anything. So hopefully for you guys too. I don't know what he's making. I think he's making pancakes for breakfast, but that's all I know. So it's gonna be a surprise, but it's from the book, so I know it's gonna be good. <laughs> I mean, as long as he follows the, the instructions. If Matt can make a recipe from the book, anyone can. So I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm probably gonna do some cleaning up in this room. I'm just gonna use today as getting things done while Matt cooks for me. This is perfect, so cheers. He did a really good job on this. 10 points. <laughs> okay, so first meal of the day is the everyday gluten-free fluffy pancakes. Mine will not look like that when it's done, but it's pretty simple. I'm sure you guys have seen it a hundred times already, but it's a great recipe. We, we make it on a lot of Sundays. It's easy. I think we have everything here in the kitchen, so I don't have to go grocery shop. So 
I'm gonna whip these up and that'll be the start of our day. smooth but still has some visible pieces of fruit. I do not know what that means but it's smooth and I think there's fruit in there. One, two, three. And I just realized I'm not doing dishes so it doesn't matter if I dirty it. If I dirty another one, it's someone else's problem today. And then a pinch, a pinch of salt. And what, just shift it like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Yes, I think you got it. I've gotten so much work done. I cleaned the room, put all my laundry away. I'm like doing just some brainstorming for a project and I feel like my glasses are so dirty right now. I did not do that, but I'm having a good morning so far. Just chilling. Got my drink. I'm sure Matt's gonna have like a pile of dishes for me to do. Mm. Does he? Yeah. Whoa, gluten-free pancakes. See, I don't know why I had to bring oh. it in bed because she's never brought me pancakes in bed, but. Mm. Yeah, that's probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she's like, oh yeah, so you're gonna bring them in bed. Yeah, it's, you know, it's part of the, oh, the pink plate, so cute. So what's yeah. on top here? Well, we didn't have much. We didn't have any. <laughs> I know, we have like no groceries. Like, yeah, it's just peanut butter and uh, sesame seeds. No. Sunflower seeds. <laughs> Sunflower seeds, yeah. Yeah. And then like... Uh, we have like barely maple any maple syrup. <laughs> no, I know. So These look good. Do you use the ice cream scoop? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, there's cashew outside. Boss. Oh. So, I'm going to take a bite. Probably need more maple syrup. Oh, they're good. Mmm. Matt, you did good. Yeah, I would just add more maple syrup because I like a lot. But the and the fact that you put peanut butter and sunflower seeds on it makes me very happy because those are my favorite toppings. If we had raspberries, I would add those too, but we definitely don't have raspberries right now. Okay, so I think I know what I'm going to make the rest of the day. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to see what we have here. And then anything we don't have, we'll make a list, we'll go to the grocery store, we'll get what we need. So here's what we're gonna make. We're gonna do the honey roasted sriracha cashews as a snack because it's actually probably my favorite thing in the book. Lunch, we're gonna do saucy cashew chicken lettuce cups because it looks a little bit, well, A, I like the cashew chicken. And it's lighter, it's on butter, looks like it's on butter lettuce, so it'll be kind of a nice light lunch. And then we wanted to do a pasta for dinner, and we were kind of torn between either the mushroom fettuccine alfredo or the easy peasy pesto pasta. That's a mouthful, right? Say that three times fast. Easy peasy pesto pasta, easy peasy pesto pasta, easy peasy pesto pasta. Oh man, he's like, pay attention to me. So now we're just gonna make our list and then hit the grocery store, get what we need, and then that's it. <laughs> All right, I got my handy dandy grocery list here. We're gonna go in, we're gonna get what we need quickly. We're gonna go home and we're gonna get cooking. We're gonna do the cashew lettuce chicken wraps for lunch, which I think 
we're all excited for, so let's go and get it. Was it for Frank, Sriracha? Frank, Frank, Frank. <laughs> Frank Grass. So I'm going to start with honey Sriracha roasted cashews as a snack because me and, me and Chloe just feel a bit peckish. So we're going to start with the snack, then we're going to move on to lunch. Let's get into this. Half teaspoon ginger. Make sure I don't uh, touch my eye after touching this. Whisk together, then add the cashews. Make sure my hands are clean. Because I'm just gonna hand mix this. Because I feel like it's probably better to hand mix than to try to mix it with a spoon or something. Okay, so everything's mixed together. Now I'm just gonna put it on parchment paper on a baking sheet, spread it out, put it in the oven, and it's gonna come out delicious. It does say to sprinkle sesame seeds on top. Put it in the oven, 16 minutes, and it should be done. So the cashews are done. They've been sitting out. They are good. I'm just gonna put these bad boys into a bowl. Ooh. Ooh. So good. So I'm back from my girls shopping trip. I'm just on the couch right now doing a little work on my computer and Matt told me that he made a snack. So I guess it has something to do with like what he made for lunch because I did not know I was going to get a snack in this deal. So Matt, snack please. The snack's really more for me because it's, it's my favorite. Oh yeah, this is totally just for you. Oh, I love oh, them. Oh wow, you made them nice and crispy. Mm. Mmm. I'll eat the whole wow. thing. Oh, these are good. Of course. I think you made mm. them better than me. Mmm. Oh, wow. 10 out of 10. It's my own recipe. Matt, these look great. Wow. These look so good. They taste really good, Matt. Look at you utilizing those cashews. <laughs> Speaking of cashews. I oh, know. This bugger. All up in my grill. You're all up in my business, all up in my business. Mmm, these are interesting. Okay, lunch time. So we're, I've already pre-cut the chicken, and now what I'm gonna do is just mix all the ingredients into this mason jar, put the chicken in, shake it up, and then we're gonna throw it in the fridge, let it marinate for 15 minutes, I think, and then we can fry it up with our, our fixings, and then put it on top of our lettuce and have a nice little Szechuan chicken wrap. One, two. So I did the tamari first, because I hope maybe That'll help the honey not stick. Okay, grade this ginger. Never grated ginger before. It's not very. I don't know. Seems like I'm grating a lot, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot coming out. Good enough for me. Grated ginger. So I add my chicken to the mix. It says a pound of chicken. I don't really know how much a pound of chicken is. So this is three chicken breasts. I think that probably more than a pound, but you know, let's mix it up. And... Yeah. So then you put it in the fridge, 15 minutes, let it marinate, soak up all the juice, and we're good. Delicious. Chicken's done marinating. Now it's time to cook and eat. Woohoo! 
Chicken's done. Now we have our lettuce. Now comes the fun part where we just put it together and eat it. And voila, the finished product. I mean, I hate to brag, but I should probably have my own YouTube cooking show because, I mean, come on, that's pretty good. Okay, time to give Nikki your lunch. Did you make the, the, the cashew chicken wraps? Okay. Open? Yeah. Oh, I got, oh, the presentation! <laughs> Good. A little squeeze of lime. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Gosh, go away. Just before he was bringing it out, I had a feeling that this might be what it is. And then he said hands. My only complaint is I wish there was more sauce. Did you put too much chicken for sauce? Maybe we use three chicken breasts. Instead of what? Two? Just a pound, I don't know what a pound is. Depends on the size of chicken. I'm not weighing the chicken. So it's on the package. Yeah, that's my only complaint is there's not enough sauce and I think that was an error. That was a human error, not the error in the cookbook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so as you saw, Nicole really loved her lunch. I was pretty happy about how that turned out. Now I'm gonna start on dinner. First I'm gonna make the easy peasy pesto. Then I'm gonna boil the water, get the noodles ready, and then I'll combine everything and make a delicious dinner. Basically what I have to do is just combine everything into the food processor here, mix it up into a nice pesto sauce, and then move on to the next thing. Mint, peas in there. Ooh, pine nuts. Put the garlic in. Olive oil. But I feel like it's probably too tasty. Noodles are done. Okay, so the past is drained. I'm drained. I'm just about done. I hate cooking. I hate, I hate grocery shopping. So I'm happy to almost be done. So we're just gonna combine all this into a bowl and yeah, I'm sure it's gonna turn out delicious. Pesto. That pesto is like Look good. Okay, now it's time to put the peas, the tomatoes, one more mix, a little parmesan on top, and I'm done. The piece de resistance, the real parmesan. Is there such a thing as too much? Too much Parmesan. Forgot a little bit of mint and basil for garnish. Yeah, we're good. I think that's everything. So now it's time for dinner. And I guess Nicole will do a, a sign off. And I'm, that's it, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I've had enough. <laughs> Oh, just got back from taking Miss Cashew for a walk. I'm excited. I've got dinner ready. I haven't looked. I just came into the dining room. Am I bringing it up? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I don't yes. even know what it smells like. It doesn't have much of a smell. Close your eyes. Mm. It feels so special to me. <laughs> Oh, I know it, but I can't. It's funny when you don't see something, you can't. You don't know it? Twice. You wrote it. You made it. Before. I know, but there's a lot of recipes. Cashew. Oh, wait. Mexican? Okay. Okay, can I look? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Parmesan. That's what that smell is. Caesar salad. <laughs> no, wait, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was a Caesar salad. Oh, it's the easy peasy pesto pasta. <laughs>
<laughs> with a lot of par but I did real parmesan instead of the almond parm. Yeah, we that's have okay. it and I was yeah. like, oh, I want it. So I mean have they've seen this? You've yeah. done I think so. Yeah, we showed it, right? Oh yes. my god, this is so pretty. So oh, I'm so trying. Okay, who's actually done the presentation? Is it Chloe or you? No, it's all. I mean I did that too. This is all you that's me, you I did know? that one. But I think Chloe helped with the with this with the wraps wraps for sure now like we question the sun-dried tomatoes but i think i don't know because chloe tried and she doesn't like sun-dried tomatoes they're very salty like they have a strong taste but they go good in it yeah okay your turn i haven't tried it yet so you nailed it pasta is cooked perfectly the pesto perfect isn't the sun-dried tomato good it's like a little pop of saltiness yeah you don't taste it Nice mix with the... On its own, it's very overpowering. Mm hmm But... Because <laughs> Chloe ate a piece by itself. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's no good. It's no good. No good. They were like, are you sure? You're supposed to put those in here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was more, probably more fun for me than that, but let me know if you want to see more types it's of an like... Under, an understatement, yes. <laughs> I just got to eat all day. So let me know if you'd like to see more kind of girlfriend and boy versus boyfriend kind of videos. If you have an idea that you'd like us to do next, leave any other idea besides below. any other idea besides boyfriend cooks. Yeah, well, you I do something else. Yeah, be sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more videos from me and Matt. Every Friday we have new vlogs on this channel, so be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up if yeah. you liked it and you had a good laugh and you were entertained. Let us know what you thought, and I will see you guys in my next video. And. If you want to try any of these recipes I made, oh yeah, where's the book? Cheap plug here. You can go and buy the Health Nut Cookbook, and you can make all of these recipes. Yeah, get your Or you can copy. get your husband or boyfriend to make them for you. Yeah, I highly recommend that because they'll love that. Yeah, they will love it. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.